Hello guys, welcome back to our course T6, the advanced course that cover a complete construction for a bridge from A to Z. Today lecture is the progress of work. Okay, so in the previous lectures we have learned how to create the WBS, adding activities, tying them, and adding the resources. Now we are done, we can create a baseline and start updating the progress to measure any delays. And this is important lectures in this course. Okay, why? When I set the baseline, I need to compare the current schedule to the baseline, measure the delays, and I would like to update the schedule. You have to ask yourself some questions. What information do you need to be collected? Who will gather the information? How often should the project be updated weekly, monthly, whatever, or bi-weekly? Are the resources local or off-site? Who will need to see the information? Project manager, superintendents, whatever. What kind of report I'm going to do? PDF, Excel. Okay. What type of information will be generated after each update? Okay. So you can communicate this to the people on site or media or whatever. Identify the information to be collected depend on whether activity or individual resource assignment update activities using actual dates and adjusting durations we're going to explain this guys in p6 and update the resources okay methods what methods are you going to use to collect the information do you have a timesheet is the timesheet connected to p6 or you're going to use excel file when you get the information from the guys on site or you have accounting system that giving you information and you are using this to update your schedules and we have talked about how often should the project be updated weekly monthly based on the contract conditions okay methods for updating the schedule update progress for all activity and resources as a whole if the project is very important and is mentioned in the contract conditions you have to update all of that Update activity and resource individually. Update progress from timesheets or use a combination of, of all these methods based on the requirement of your contract. Update process should include, okay, an established standard update procedure, include method used for recording the progress. You should have the baseline plan. This is your reference, the one you're gonna use it to measure your delays. Record progress of activity entered automatically or manually we'll explain this guys adding actual dates adding the resources estimating the remaining durations if applicable approve the time sheet okay calculating schedule level uh, and leveling resources if you are doing leveling and you can do this to check any spikes in the resource comparing the current schedules to the baseline to identify the variances analyzing the data okay and they make any adjustment so we said you have to go and enter the percent complete for each activity progress percentage entering actual dates and remaining durations and we explained one of our lectures the units percentage which actual units divided by add combination unit by 100 if you have actual unit 20 divided by overall unit 100 so your progress percentage for this activity is 20 percentage so normally once you identify that you have all the informations you go to p6 start actualizing the dates adding the remaining durations do any logic adjustment and you can press f9 which allows you to schedule the dates and program do the calculations and then you move the data date by the way if you do monthly you have to move the data date every month and after that you will print the layout either in excel or pdf i hope you guys like these lectures and we're going to start next lecture adding this to p6 directly so you can enjoy the course thanks so much for watching and see you